Okay team, I'll try and make this as easy as possible. It's not the best situation because I've only got one camera, but HJC i70, I've taken the cheek pads out and I've loosened the neck roll here. So we need to put the two speakers in here so I can hear things and mount that uh, control unit to the side of the helmet here. I'd really like to do this and keep it reversible because I uh, I don't know I don't know how long I'll keep this helmet for. I might uh, upgrade my helmet. I might change my communication setup. So everything I do, I try and make reversible. Here we go with the center unit that's going to mount on the helmet around about there. Uh, we probably won't use that boom mic. I'll probably use a wide mic from the mounting kit inside the box here. Right, probably don't need the book right now. We've got 3M stickies for mounting. That's what I was looking for. That's the clamp mount there. Uh, we'll need the speakers. Uh, and I think that might be all we need. Oh, and the microphone. There we go. All right, let's start by putting the clamp mount on the helmet. So you want, to, you want to make sure you've got clear access to the lip there because we're going to slide part of the clamp mount in under the lining of the helmet, like so. There we go, that is in nice and tight and it's not fouling on my visor controls or anything like that. Next job is to attach that there Right, so that means that short of removing this mounting clamp here, that the center is stuck to my helmet, because of course these wires are gonna be tucked in behind the cheek pads, so they're not gonna be movable either. But that's all right, that's not a major, I mean, we can live with that. All right, let's whip the speakers out and see what we're dealing with there. Right, so the speakers have Velcro already on the back of them. And we're going to tuck them just inside the, the cutouts for the speakers, like so. And then we'll run the cables around the back of the neck roll. Okay, so included in the kit are these little 3M Velcro velvety pads, which we're going to pop on the back of the speakers before we insert them. And that way they will stick nicely inside the helmet tell you what when you're a bloke and you've got trimmed fingernails it's definitely harder than it looks or as hard as it looks as the case may be okay so remembering that our speaker wires are going to go around the back of the neck roll but we also need to remove uh, make room for that we'll just piece that in there beautiful just like that we'll do the same on t'other side It occurs to me now that motorcycling isn't the only use for one of these kits. If you're one of those guys like I used to be and you like taking your uh, hotted up car to the track, then this could be a good use for a Senna kit, uh, hitting, installing it in your helmet set and still being able to talk to your mate who you're thrashing around the track with. Just an idea. Maybe not everyone's cup of tea. Maybe you need to keep... Uh, Keep your mind on the track but you know just something that popped into my my crazy little mind on an idle monday night while i'm installing this in my helmet okay so you'll find that you've got two black wires those are your speaker wires one's longer than the other so that makes perfect sense and your red one is for your microphone which we haven't done yet but let's work this one out so if i plug that in and there's a little arrow there, so that pieces together nicely. And then we will run that cable around the back there. And if we're lucky, we won't even feel it. We'll plug this one in as well. We'll run that one around the back. 
We've got a little bit of extra cable here. Let's find our microphone. Now, I've already used one of these uh, install kits before, so you'll find that I've already got the Velcro sticky for the microphone right up in front, and you want to make sure it's right at lip level. You want to have these microphones quite close to your mouth. They're quite close proximity, and that way the, uh, the noise cancellation can work at its best. Because, of course, you don't want your passengers or your other riders being able to hear the wind noise through your helmet or anything like that. So they do have quite sophisticated noise cancellation. All right. One microphone in helmet. Right there, that'll do. And we'll run that back here. And then it is time to start working out How to get the cheek pads and everything back in and hide, hiding all the cables but we've pretty much hidden all the cables we need to around the back so let's clip the back in all right the back neck roll is in one of these cheek pads is for this side that must be it And there we have it. All the cables are now hidden. Apart from our microphone cable, but that pops out there, that's fine. And stealthy install. Next thing, always pays to update these when they're brand new, or at least check they're up to date. And then uh, go for a ride and give it a whirl. Give it a test fit. Make sure you haven't got any pressure points around the padding, because that can just be really uncomfortable. And that actually fits quite nicely. Now I've got to learn how to use this thing. So there you go, team. That is our install video of the brand new Senna 50R. Matt Day Gillett, our offsider, will have an install video of the Senna 50S up as soon as possible. But thank you very much for sticking with us. Make sure that you check out bitsforbikes.co.nz. That's B I T S for the number four bikes.co.nz that is website of uh, white's power sports they are the new zealand and australia imported distributor of the center gear uh, so check them out if you're thinking about buying one go do some more research maybe uh if your mates have all got the centers it's probably a good option to be picking but make sure you get the one at the price point and everything that kind of suits your budget otherwise happy riding keep the rubber side down Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so we can send you a notification when we upload a new video. Cheers, guys.